द नेक्स्ट कली निकल गए इज सूरनर ग्राफ्ट द सूरनर इज वन ऑफ द सुपरफिशियल नर्व्स इट कैन बी ग्राफ्टेड द रीजन फॉर इट्स ग्राफ्टिंग आर एज फॉलोज द सूरल नर्व इज सेंसरी द सूरल नर्व इज सुपरफिशियल एंड इट कैन बी ईजीली आइडेंटिफाइड द सूरल नर्व इज लाइंग बिटवीन द टेंडोकल कैनियस एंड द लेटरल मेलियोलस द सोरल नर्व कैन ऑल्सो बी इज रिन्यूएबल एंड इट कैन बी ग्राफ्टेड टू अदर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी सो दिस वॉज द सोरल नर्व ग्राफ्ट now the next clinical is tarsal tunnel syndrome tibial nerve is the nerve of the leg when the tibial nerve passes through the flexor retinaculum of the leg it can be injured the site of it is injured or fracture of tibia through tight plasters injury under the flexor retinaculum injured under the flexor retinaculum so it can be injured under the flexor retinaculum it causes sensory losses and motor losses sensory loss the sensory loss occurs on occurs on the distal and middle phalanges phalanges and the nail beds of all toes and the sensory loss occurs on the nail beds of all toes motor losses the tibial nerve injury under the flexor retinaculum also causes motor losses and these motor losses are the superficial muscles of the calf muscles of calf the next are deep muscles of calf and the next is intrinsic muscles of the sole now the next clinical is thromboangitis obliterans this is the condition in which the ganglia 2 l2 and ganglia l3 are removed and also their trunks are also removed 
and the sympathetic fibers on the lower limb arteries are removed and the arteries are denervated so in this condition the sympathetic fibers on the arteries of lower limb are removed and this condition causes denervation of lower limb arteries because the sympathetic fibers su- supply the arteries when they are removed the arteries are denervated this was the thrombogenesis obliterate means now the next clinical is thrombosis of soleal venous sinuses and these are present inside the soleal muscle soleal venous sinuses in in the sit long air tra- travel sitting immobile can lead to sitting immobile for long time can lead, lead to obstruction of soleal venous sinuses and these soleal venous sinuses are obstructed and thus and thus they can block the any artery thrombus can be dislodged and it can block any artery of the body so to treat one must have to stretch the legs this was the thrombosis of soleal venous sinuses now the next clinical is plantar fasciitis in this clinical the inflammation of plantar fascia occurs this clinical condition occurs in policemen due to standing for long time due to the stretching of plantar aponeurosis so the pain occurs in the heel pain occurs in the heel region especially during standing for long time this was the clinical condition plantar fasciitis now the next clinical is martens neuroma a neuroma can be f- formed on the any branch of the medial plantar nerve between third and fourth metatarsal bones a neuroma is a bulging of a branch of the an, any nerve neuroma may be formed on a branch of medial plantar nerve between third and fourth metatarsal bones the neuroma causes pain
the neuroma causes pain between third and fourth metatarsals and this is the important clinical the neuroma also causes pressure on the arteries supplying the distal part of the foot 